there's a few changes we need to discuss. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's time for another review of what's new in Pinnacle Studio 18 Ultimate. Some new stuff under the hood, some new changes to the user interface, and a few new effects coming at you that I know you're going to love. Let's jump right into it. Pinnacle Studio 18 is officially in the building. And I'm going to tell you what's new. Let's start off with what's under the hood. And you're going to love it. It's 64-bit, native 64-bit architecture. Now, previous versions of Pinnacle Studio were optimized for 64-bit performance. This one has it built in, baby. And what that means to you is you're going to get more speed and more responsiveness. I'm going to tell you, I've been playing around with this, and I'm loving the speed, all right? It's all that in a bag of chips ahoy. You're gonna love the speed. Now, especially if you're making like uh, multi-track videos with effects and different clips and things like that, the rendering's faster. It's just more streamlined. It just feels like I'm speeding along. And this 64-bit architecture helps you because it takes full advantage of your PC's processing power and your memory. And you're gonna wanna give the people at Pinnacle Corella a hug, okay? I'm just gonna tell you, you're gonna wanna hug them. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is something that you'll be able to see when you export a video. So let me drag some down into the timeline real quick. And I'm going to go over to export. And what you'll see is that we now have, if you go to file, got a new type here. It's Sony XAVCS. So that is a new file format that's based off of MP4 and AVC HD or H.264 that gives you 4K resolution. So basically, you're gonna be able to take advantage of the new file format that's out there. It's on a lot of the Sony cameras right now, and uh, it's being used on a lot of newer cameras as well. This is a great file format for 4K. Makes beautiful pictures. You'll love them. Let's move on. Let's get to talking a little bit about the interface. There's some changes in the interface that makes it just make sense. First of all, here's a picture of Pinnacle Studio 17. And you'll notice that in this picture there's some buttons that aren't in the picture of Pinnacle Studio 18. What the guys over at Pinnacle did is they made the workflow make more sense. Let me give you an example. Let's jump back into Pinnacle Studio 18 here. So if I go over to the Organize tab, you see the import button, see the group by button, and the sort by button. It makes sense that they are only visible under the organize tab because this is where you do all of those things. All right. If you go back to the edit tab, you notice that those icons or buttons are no longer there. It just makes more sense the way that they have it built out. I'm going to do a quick import here and show you some another feature that I like. If I right click on here and I do quick import. And this also works if you uh, add new media to any of your watch folders. It'll do the same thing that I'm about to show you in a second. Let's just go ahead and import this file here. And I'm going to click on open. And it opened up my latest collection of uh, imports. I'm going to close that. It also added a button here. So anything that gets added to your watch folders or you import or you quick import, you'll get a button here that will take you directly to just that file or those files that you imported. So if I click on that, boom, takes me right there. There's the file. So that's great if you just imported something from a camera or if you just imported some files and you just want to jump right to those. That's a great way to get right to those files. Once again, speeding up the workflow. 
doing it for you big time in Pinnacle Studio 18. Now, since we're looking at these tabs, let's talk about something different with the tabs. Before with the tabs, they all had the little line depending on what you were doing. Let's say that I opened up a new, uh, I don't know, something that's not media. Let's go to my effects composition. You'll see that it now highlights the tab that you're on so you know exactly which tab you're in. The other version didn't do that. It kind of stood out a little bit and it was a little darker shade, but now you actually get the color that corresponds to the type of media and you know which one of these tabs you're in because the color is showing there. So once again, speeding up your workflows, you don't gotta click through all the tabs to figure out which one you're in and which one you're not. Love it. I just love it. And let's talk about some other little things here that it's bringing to the table. Another thing that I love about the new features is the mark in and mark out on a timeline. So now on the toolbar, you got a option to mark in, mark out, and then remove any mark in or mark outs that you have. Now, the advantage of that is this. If I click on export here, on the previous versions of Pinnacle Studio, when you wanted to change the, uh, I guess, the sections of the video that's being exported, you can come here to the export tab and you can drag your mark in and you can drag your mark out. But basically, you'd have to like be watching every frame of the video here through the preview to figure out where you wanted to mark in and mark out for the most part. Now, you can do it in the timeline. So let's move these back. And close this out. If I put my playhead somewhere, let's say there was a specific uh, video clip or a split in a clip that I wanted to start at. Or a timeline marker that I clicked on and brought my playhead to that I wanted to start my export at. I could just move my playhead to that position. Or click on that clip or click on, click on that timeline marker. And then click on mark in. It automatically adds the mark in point for what we'll export. Let's say I wanted to change where I wanted to uh, stop the video. I can put my playhead at that position and hit mark out. Now, when I hit export, it's going to automatically transfer over the mark in and mark out to this. And I don't have to worry about dragging it frame by frame to find out where I wanted to start or stop. I love that feature. All right, close this out. Take those off. Let's talk about the live screen capture. Everybody loved the live screen capture that came with Pinnacle Studio 17, and you're gonna like the one in 18 even more because now you get to actually choose which audio or both audio sources that come out through the screen capture. And what I mean by that is this. If you go to the start menu, Go to all programs. Go to Pinnacle Studio 18. You can op open the live screen capturing. Click on settings. And now you get the option of turning on or off the system audio and any voice audio. So this means that you can capture both. You can do neither. You can do one or the other. Easy. Also, the format. So you got your Windows Media uh, video format now. And this format actually makes it easier to integrate into more different types of programs. All right. That way you don't got problems, you know, presenting in a, I guess, in a PowerPoint presentation or things like that. It just makes it easier for you to move the file around. All right. Okay. Let's move on, Pepper. So I'm going to close this out. Next thing I want to talk about is some royalty-free music. Now, you all know that we got Score Fitter, all right? Comes with Pinnacle Studio 18, but there's another new music option that you're going to get. If we go to the Start button, go to All Programs, Pinnacle Studio 18, you'll see Triple Scoop Music. If I click on that, it opens up a window with 17 royalty-free music tracks from Triple Scoop Music. This 
can be used to help with the mood, help with your videos, help them be more professional. 17 royalty free tracks. Use them how you want to, people. Use them how you want to. Let's get out of here. All right, you guys know I love making effects. Pinnacle Studio 18 has brought some new fire with some extra effects for you to use. So if I right click on this clip and go to open effects editor, under add-ons, you got some new add-on love. New blue effects, baby. Stepping into the game with Pinnacle Studio 18. So you got film effects. So you got film camera, film color, film damage, film express, film pro. You got the new blue stabilizer. Now for those of you who don't know, the stabilizer helps to correct any shaky footage that you might have due to uh, action sports, uh, GoPro videos, uh, or just sh shooting handheld. This is going to help to stabilize that footage and make it look beautiful. All right. So now you get some video essentials, love. We got video essentials 2, 6, and 7. So you got the chroma key, color equalizer, color swap, lens correction, letterbox, noise reducer, picture in picture, rack focus, shadows, and uh, highlights, and vignette. Those are all useful features, all right? You got new blue video essentials, six. You got chroma key, color replace, cut away, garbage map, picture grid, picture in shape, saturation equalizer, uh, saturation modifier, thank you, uh, selective touch up and tile. And then last but not least for new blue, we got auto pan, detail by chroma, detail by luma, flying PIP, gamma correction, gradient fill, legal level, quick pixelator, and region scope. And even with all of the new blue love that you're getting, you still got Red Giant Filmmaker Toolkit with Cosmo, Magic Bullet, and Mojo. And you still got Red Giant Motion Graphics Toolkit with no particular reflection, shadows, and shine. That's a lot of add-ons and plugins, all right? And they will be quite useful depending on how you plan on using the software. You wanted to know what's new? I brought it to you, okay? Do me a favor. All my Pinnacle peeps out there, leave your comments about the new features below. Let us know, let the people at Pinnacle Corel know how you feel about the new features. Also, if there's any type of features that you want to see for future versions of Pinnacle Studio 18, leave a comment below on that too, all right? Let the people at Pinnacle Corral know what you want, and then they'll do their best to give it to you. And last, but definitely not least, don't forget to check out my YouTube channel, Pinnacle Studio Pro. Don't forget to jump over to my Facebook page, Pinnacle Studio Pro, or my Twitter page, Pinnacle Stud Pro. You know what? Check out my website, PinnacleStudioPro.com. Just hit me up all over the world, baby. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.